Coach is Rick Stewart of All Access Coaching. I'm really excited to bring you this free video and make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below. And if you hit the like and subscribe button, you'll get notified when we upload new content. We're uploading three or four videos every week. This is called 313 Duck. Anytime those linebackers are fully blitzing, we are going to try to drag the A back across the ball and we're going to run a deep dig back here with the wide receiver. You're going to read over the top of that linebacker who's scraping out of there. Remember I told you earlier, when those linebackers flow blitz or fast flow or come up field, we have to hit it right here. We are going to high low that backside linebacker, trying to hit the A back underneath or the wide receiver over the top. See that hole open up right there? Okay, here's an even front. This is 313 protection, big on big. Center's going to help on the backside. I showed you this A back out earlier. Same thing, it is 312 A out, but center didn't pick up backside. The left tackle has to pick up backside corner blitz. If they made a smarter call, then everybody would block back, and the, and the center would have the three text. The card would have the five tech peek in twice. Now the tackle would have the corner. They could have made a tiger call right there, and everyone would have blocked back. The center would have the three tech, guard had the five tech, and the tackle picked up the edge blitzer, which is a corner. We got them on the play side because they're going to rotate and only rush five guys. The A-back is going to run the shallow out, and the play fake doesn't allow the safety to get underneath it. Number two can't get off the line of scrimmage. He's got a hard thing off him, so he can't get out of there to get the play. He can't get underneath it. This is going to be duck again because these guys like to blitz so much, we like to drag across. The Mike backer walks up in the gap. The fullback's going to pick him up. This is your drag across. That's called 312 dog, 312 duck. The linebackers like to blitz. You drag right behind them. You can see the dig coming over the top of it. It's gonna be duck again because these guys like to blitz a bunch, so we'd always right try to drags across. The guy walks up in the gap. It should down. Picking him up. I don't like this because what happens right here is we make a white call to the right but we should have made a green call. The center helps on the blitz, tackle blocks down here, and the fullback picks this guy up. But it happened too fast for us to check to green, but that is how it should have happened. We would practice this time and time again, and when they stem like that, we would slide protect like this. It's nothing more than what people have been doing forever. This is how they used to protect the wishbone. Gap down, gap down, gap down. We don't like to do that because it's a mismatch putting the fullback on that six tech. In this white protection, we have a smaller running back blocking the A-gap. That's also a problem. Our rule always was protect the A-gaps with offense alignment and let your fullback cut the three tech. Have your big guys protect inside out. Your guards and centers take care of A-gaps and your tackles take care of edge blitzers. Okay, you already saw this play. 358, 213 protection on the backside. They overkeyed it. It was a G scheme. It was a nice job by the quarterback putting it up there. Easy catch and throw. They it. This was a G scheme. It was a nice job. It was putting it up there. It's just it's easy for the right, the right side. I think he was blocking a little bit from the top. They just go out there like they're going outside. outside, outside. It's hard on the tackle because when that guy comes hard on the four eye and he's trying to beat the scoop block, it's like the second or third player of the game. So they haven't been cut yet, so he hasn't, he hasn't tried to avoid the scoop. But boy, you get yourself behind like that. This is hard on the left tackle because when the four eye comes hard to avoid the scoop block, it is only the second or third play of the game. So he hasn't been cut yet, so he's coming hard. You can get yourself in a bind versus guys like that. Let's look at that center who's on an island. Anytime you have to toss scoop or something like that, it makes it easy for the center because the nose guard will pick the A gap in the direction of the running back action. 
The center just needs to let them go in that direction and seal them, which is what the center is doing right here. But our center should be stepping with his left foot first, but in this case, he kind of jumps. He needs to step left foot first and hinge, so it becomes gap protection. It's, it's hitch, it's 313 hitch, 313 Z hitch goes to the right, 312 X hitch goes to the left. And it's just as fast as you can throw it. That's exactly what happens. We have the same play on seam. We got a bunch of corner fires. We got a bunch of guys coming on seam. So seam is play side. And what we're gonna do play side is again, it's a one step throw. We're gonna cut the play side down line. We're gonna try to get your hands down so that you can pop that, it's an A-pop, it's an A-pop pass. If they're firing the corners or that guy jams the A-back, then he goes to the wide receiver. It's going to stay play side both times, and at the last end, at the last minute, it's going to go to, uh, it'll be going to that tail most that guy coming back across. Because seam is play side. It's just a one-step throw, boom, set your feet, try to hit that A-pop, bang, bang, flash it, Boom, throw, pop it right there. He catches it. It's a seven yard throw. It ends up being a, you know, you're trying to catch a rotation in the secondary. And by the same token, you're getting their hands down up front and you're being aggressive. On the backside, it's, it's the same 313 protection. It's the uh, same the guy got the backside A seam to the backside linebacker to the backside edge player. It's a wall on the backside. Since it is seen, and since it is seen, we sit on the line of scrimmage a lot harder. We fight and hold our ground. We give ground grudgingly, G, G, G. Give ground grudgingly on seam. Give ground grudgingly uh, on the backside of seam. On the play side, on uh, 312, 313, it doesn't matter because it's Z hitch and you're going to cut on the backside. This one, you flash fake it a little bit so it holds them just a second because you're trying to get the linebackers to flow. You're trying to, sh you're trying to show the fullback. You're trying to flash it, you know, show the fullback. Boom, here you are. Nope. And you can see what happens. He runs right by it. You guys have all run this play. The only at, the only thing I would add on to it is we cut that play side to get their hands down. And on the backside, I just stay a little bit stouter because he is only going to be one yard back from the line of scrimmage. He doesn't have much time to he doesn't have much time to make a decision on those things. He's got to try to get bang. It, it, it's going to be one or the other. And if it corner fires, man, he's going right now to the corner because he knows the safety has to get over the top. Safety can't get there. Here's Here's uh, who's this? Clem. All right, boom. Seam. Trying to hit that A seam right there. Can't get the A seam. Goes to the boundary. Back shoulder throw. He's trying to get that A back on the pop, but there's too much color right there. So what he does is he flash fakes it. Boom, one. He's going to pause it right now. Too much color. He goes to the wide receiver as a second choice, and you can see the safety valve up there on the hash. He pulls that outside linebacker with him. It gives a chance to throw that ball to the wide receiver. It's fast. It's quick. You don't have to pass. You don't have to pass protect a long time. You can see that that cup. What cup? It is no cup. Them boys just like they're just firing out, making twelve and three, twelve and three, thirteen. They're just making twelve and thirteen action. They're looking like they're they're looking like they're scooping on the backside because he's coming down. That, that guard's coming down like he's going to scoop. So all of a sudden now, hey, oh, and then they they kind of step up. He holds it a second. He throws the back shoulder throw. Kid does a good job making catch. Another first down. And it's a one-step throw. It's quick. It's easy. And it's clean. And the reason it's clean is because you're cutting that front side. All right. Here's against Georgia. I remember this one. This is they, they pop the state. They fire a corner over here to the, to, the, to the left. He comes right out there. And he just, boom, you can see the corner shadow coming in the picture now. He's just blowing it over, 312 seam, 312 seam. Flash fake, pop, gone. That, that safety's playing over the top, he can't get there. Play side, you're going to go ahead and cut. Yep, here comes the corner fire at the top. Might have been running seam to the bottom, or it could have been a check for us during the game. I don't really recall. And what you can do against corner fires, you'd like to do that. Well, they didn't do the corner fires, so he's got to wait. Can't get it the A back, so the wide receiver has to give him a place to throw it to. I think that's a great job by the wide receiver. He felt like that corner was firing. He didn't fire. 
He starts down that seam. That safety's over the top on him, so he doesn't feel like he can back shoulder throw him. So he just kind of hooks right in there. The A-back doesn't have a choice. The A-back just keeps running a vertical so that he can clear out and he come back underneath. It's it's a lot like uh, a cover two. It's like a lot like the cover two throw where you get it right behind the linebackers where they kind of run that little seam route right down the hash. And it's the exact same – it's the same principle because the A-back's going right down the hash and he's pulling that he's pulling that safety with him. And all of a sudden now that, eight, that wide receiver, he, he just kind of pops, throws, and then comes back underneath. He got to give him a chance to throw it. Couldn't throw it there. And he comes back in, hits him in that seam. That A-back cleared it out. And now that wide receiver gets to run across the field. It's simple. It's simple uh, dynamics on that. It's just seam. Hitch and seam are two good routes for one-step throws. You flash fake it on the seam. You just throw it as fast as you can on hitch. You cut both sides. I mean, you cut on both plays of seam, you cut play side and hit you cut backside. Trying to get their hands down so you could pop it to that A back going down the seam there. Three twelve seam against Florida State and the ACC championship. Here's a case right. Here's a case in point right there. That guy kind of came from depth, so the fullback ends up picking him up. A one step throw. Ideally, again, if the if the if the tackle would if that would happen a little bit quicker, if it would happen just a little bit quicker, then the tackle would make a green call and he would take that number six and the a back and the fullback would cut the six technique uh, the six technique. In this case, a lose five. But you can see we got our hands down. We throw it in there. They can't can't get there. That safety's too deep. That safety's too deep. He can't get over the he can't get in the seam to make a play. The A back's restricting everybody else. And that safety's got to go. Can't make the play. Especially so fast. You can see on the back side, like I said, we give ground gradually. Look at that left. Whoops. Look at that left guard and that left tackle. Watch what they do. They don't, they don't hinge down. They almost take away the inside. It's almost like a up over, up over. And it is an up over. It's an up over, replace, up over, replace. Because it's give ground gradually on the backside so your quarterback doesn't have his arms hit or smacked off the backside. Coaches, I really hope you got some great information from that YouTube video. Again, hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data. And you also get notified when I upload new content to this channel. Thanks for watching, coaches.